Hello beauties. So today I have some more makeup to play with because I ordered a collection and when you order a collection you get an awesome makeup bag and inside it comes with everything obviously that you ordered, you know, the type of concealer, mascara, everything that you chose. Um, and if you host a party you get half off of one item. Well, depending on how much you sell, you can get half off multiple items, but uh, a collection counts as an item, even though it's like seven items uh, inside of it, you'll get 50% off the entire collection. So just a little bit of motivation if you were thinking about maybe uh, hosting a party, this is uh, an amazing reward to get. Um, so I got the Addiction, the Moonstruck Addiction 3 palette, which I'm super excited about. There are um, like pinkish purples. Uh, like cool tones, so we're going to be doing a look with that today. Um, and as you can see, my skin is like rebelling against my face, so we're going to take care of that as well. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with the Glorious Face and Eye Primer, and I'm going to do that all over my face and my eyelids. Um, and again, uh, you want to focus this on the center of your face and definitely do under your eyes and on your eyelids, um, so it helps whatever you put on top of it to stay longer. Um, and you want your concealer, obviously, to stay a good amount of time, um, and uh, your eyeshadow. So, this is lovely. And I got my Mineral Touch Liquid Foundation in. I chose the shade Organza because I am quite pale. So, hopefully, uh, I know, I hope I'm not too iridescent in this lighting. Um, but anyways, this stuff is great. You don't need as much as you might think you do, and it comes in a dropper, so you can just you know, sort of put it along your face wherever you want it and then blend it out. I have a uh, expert face brush that I'm going to be using. So again, you really just want to put the foundation where you need it most. Um, you don't want to put too much on. Um, the goal is to keep as much of your skin showing through as possible. Uh, this is a medium coverage foundation and hopefully it matches, it matches fairly really close to me. So. Um, sort of blending it in, and again the center of my face is where I tend to need the most coverage, around my nose, my chin, my forehead, and just kind of blending this in. Okay, and I also have, this is pretty cool, this is the uh, Moonstruck Minerals Concealer um, Corrector, and it is in powder form, which is so unusual, I think, for a concealer. Um, right now, we are um, back-ordered on the normal concealer, the like thicker one, so this is actually really cool. The color I have is... I think Fabulous is the color I have. Um, and anyways, it does a pretty decent job. I wasn't sure about under eye and, you know, powder, because um, I do obviously have a bit of wrinkles and such, but it does a really nice job, and I just sort of smooth it over and then put it on any other spots, like this issue here, <laughs> to, you know, sort of fade it away a little bit. And um, it also has like a mirror in the top of it, which is cool, you can't really see. But it's really, that's really cool, that's nice. I like when things come with mirrors because sometimes you're putting on your makeup in the, you know, in a short amount of time, in a, you know, space that you're not used to and it's nice to be able to see what you're doing. Um, and I got the mineral brush, so it's the pressed blusher. Um, I got the color Sweet. It is a matte color. I think this color is really beautiful too. It's sort of like a, pink with a little bit of peach in it um, and I'm using a small stippling brush. I tend to go a little overboard with the blush if given the chance so a stipple brush is a great choice for me that way I don't use too much of it because it goes on in like sh you know in small increments so I tend to catch myself before I get a little too happy with the blush. Start out with the color Determined so it is a a pale taupey type color um, that is quite light. So we're going to start off with that on a deluxe crease brush and we're going to put this 
in the crease and then in. So this is going to be our transition shade. So it is matte. This is lighter um, than the color Honorable and it has um, like a cooler tone to it. It's got it's like a light purple type tone to it. Um, I think it's really pretty and it's a perfect color for in the crease. So I'm just going to get my little mirror so I can see a little bit better. There we go. And again with this I'm going to go a little bit heavier on the outside. So just sort of start with my brush when it has the most product on the outside and then go in. And then just go back and forth like a windshield wiper motion. And this is above the crease. Okay, so just sort of defining our eyes a little bit, nothing too crazy. All right, and then we are going to go in to Flippant, which is uh, the light purple uh, shimmery shade, and put this right on the lid. So putting this right on our eyelid, all the way across, it's a really pretty light purple shimmer shade. Um, and I also like about these palettes is there's, uh, in each of the palettes is a matte black shade. And I just think that's really great anytime you want to mix it in to darken another color. Um, and you can also use it on an angle brush just against the lash line as like a smokier or lighter uh, eyeliner type of look. Okay. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with Tickled, which is a matte pink shade. It's all the way to the left. And I'm gonna put that just in the outer V. So just towards the outer edge of the eye. And again, start out slow. Don't go in with a ton because it is quite pigmented. Just along the outer edge and then you can bring it in. They call it like the outer V. So we're bringing it in that sort of shape. So it's very subtle but just sort of warms it up a little bit there. Okay, put a little bit more. Once you're satisfied with the way that is looking, um, then we're going to do the lower lash line. So I'm going to take, and again, I always do this with my finger, I'm going to take Determined and go all the way across the lower lash line from inner to outer corner, Determined, inner to outer corner. And then I'm going to put Tickled the pink color that we just went into that is matte and I'm just going to do that on the outer edge. So like the outer third of the eye. And just have it kind of meet up with the pink with the rest of tickled like on the rest of your eye. Okay. And now we're gonna go in with liner and mascara, as we as we always do. So I'm gonna be using Proper, which is the dark brown. And I'm gonna line a very thin line. And again, this goes on super smoothly. You can make it really thin if you want to, which I do. All the way across, but a little thicker on the outer edge. So now we're going to do our lashes. So let's start off with the transplanting gel from root to tip. And then 
fibers about halfway up to the tip. And then transplanting gel to seal them in. And then I'm going to do one more, as usual, <laughs> of the fibers. And then finally the transplanting gel. And this seals it in so that it's all good to go. Okay, so my eyes are completely done. So lastly is going to be the lips. So what I'm going to do um, is line my lips with our lip liner, Moonstruck Precision Pencil Lip Liner in the color Pouty. I'm going to get a mirror. And this is one way you can make your lip gloss, lipstick collection, you know, be a little more versatile, is to switch up your lip liner. And I'm coloring my whole lips in with this color. So it's sort of like a neutral pink. Okay, and just, sorry, that's Michael, my cat. He, uh, he's a big fan of makeup as well. Okay, so I'm lining it with that, and then I'm gonna put, um, we have a really nice, that's like a neutral, <laughs> really? It's a neutral nude color, it's called Well To Do. And um, it's really neutral, like it's really pale, and I feel like by putting on this like pinky peachy, he's really <laughs> taking out the lighting. This uh, pinky peachy color as the base. Thank you, Michael. Um, and then putting this on, there's some angry drivers today. Um, it gives it a little bit more like of a bold look, and I think it's just really pretty so this is the finished look um, so please leave me any comments or questions below please subscribe and uh, like this video and ask me any questions that you have thank you so much for watching